We need more wolf content. See, I should have filmed the whole video like this. Like this just feels right. Not me doing this casual YouTube video. Most of you probably don't even know, but this is kind of how I got my grounding and how I kind of got into YouTube was doing very casual videos. So today has been a long day. I feel like that people are always complaining. And so I just wanted to join that trend <laughs> because girl, today, Today really just, ugh. Let me set the scene, let me set the timeline for you. Earlier this month, around July 11th, I think was when I purchased it, I really had a hanker, who says hanker? Okay, hang on. I really wanted some AirPod Maxes. I just really like the look of them, but they are some of the most expensive headphones on the market. I really felt the urge just to get it. And so it was 3 a.m. one night, I got it, <laughs> but. Here's the thing. I got them on a website that is not Apple. I got them on eBay because I have sold stuff. I am a seller on Mercari and Depop and eBay. And so I was like, oh yeah, that will be fine. Well, I thought I get the AirPods. I remember I had to like Snapchat every time I was wearing them. AirPod Maxes are just the biggest flex i feel like uh, you don't get them for any other reason but to just flex that you have them i was doing as one does no idea at the time now looking back the sound quality was a little bit crackly like it would kind of sound like i was in uh, this is very specific but do you know those live streams on tiktok where people drive around with the bass boosted audio and it's like like all shaky and stuff like that's that's kind of what they sounded like it kind of sounded like i was in a wind tunnel but i didn't think too much about it i'd never had those before and so i didn't think anything they got here in like a day because it was just one state over i mean i could have gone and picked them up i'm glad i didn't now but that would have been funny that would have been a whole different story time i may not have lived to see that story time anyway i get them and i unbox them everything's fine like i said i used them for a week i decided that i wanted to start wearing my airpods when i was walking and when i did stuff outside and they're not water resistant and so i wanted to get a case to make sure that i was protecting them because at first i was just kind of using them in the house wasn't really using them outside i get a case on amazon about to go to bed it's like 2 a.m I put on my AirPods and I'm like, ooh, I need to get this case. I started putting the case on. I put on the like silicone earpiece things. And then I had a lot of trouble getting a hard case on around the outer shell of the AirPods. So I'm just pressing. I'm not really thinking twice. I, <laughs> I was listening to Ice Spice. The volume went off and I thought, okay, well, I just hit a button. Anyway, AirPods still act like they're connected to my phone but not playing any audio. I start having a mental breakdown. I get very anxious and I hyper fixate on stuff whenever it is like that. And especially at 2 a.m. when I'm about to go to bed, I can't think about it. And so I start looking up troubleshooting. They say to like press these certain buttons and these lights will come on. Nothing was coming on. It said that when it was charging, it would be like an amber light. It was bright red. It was like Rudolph's nose. I decide, okay, let me call Apple support at 3 a.m. I got on with the chat, nothing happened. I looked up some troubleshooting and it said, plug it up. The troubleshooting for the AirPod Maxes are, I mean, it's very simple. You either have an issue that's easily fixable or you have fake AirPods. <laughs> the next morning I called Apple support. The first person was kind of helpful. She told me that the AirPods were still connected to the original owner's Apple ID which is a key important factor later on in this story. I call back and say, okay, well, they are on my Apple ID. It's showing up on my, on my iPhone. So the woman says that I should make an Apple appointment and she will schedule it. And I said, perfect. I'm like an hour and a half away. <laughs> Let me just make a drive. And listen, I can make anything a moment. I can make anything a trip. Like 
I can make anything romanticized. I was like, ooh, I'll go to like a really nice grocery store. I'll, I'll like go eat somewhere cute. I'll go to like a coffee shop. I had a whole plan. I was, I was ready. I leave, I get there in plenty of time. I wait like 10 minutes in the Apple store. The Apple store intimidates me because I don't know why, but everyone just seems like they know what they're doing. And I just, I don't know how to dress. I don't know how to act in an Apple store. Like everyone's really hot and attractive and I don't know, it's just, it's just intimidating. The lady I got was so nice. I wish I could give her my life. Like if she ever needed any organs or anything, I would donate them. Like this woman, I owe her my entire life. She is the sweetest person ever. She looked at the AirPods. Now, mind you, they came in the box. They had a serial number. I checked for counterfeit in different areas, like the serial number was written on the AirPods themselves. They are getting really good with these counterfeit products. Like it's it's crazy. I don't even know if they're counterfeit. It's more just a cheaper alternative, but this person sold it for a very high price point and they were labeling them as AirPod Maxes. She takes them back. She's like, okay, I see what's going on, let me just go look at them. About like 10 minutes pass, she comes back out and she had a pair of new AirPods and she was like, okay, let's break this down. I have good news and I have bad news. And I said, great. She said, the good news is you buy it on eBay. And I said, oh, so they're fake. And she said, yep, I had been scammed, whatever. Earlier that day, I had messaged the seller just to verify like, hey, having issues with these, like I, they may be still connected to your Apple ID. I don't know. I messaged them at like 9 a.m. This is like 4 p.m. Still have not heard from them. After I found out they were fake, I made like seven phone calls. I am a phone call person and that is probably my biggest downfall because I bother everybody. I start making phone calls and I'm like, okay, I need to dispute this. So I filed a claim. I had all of the evidence. I took photos of my confirmation of my appointment and I said, here's this. I went to go get an appointment. Here's the date, time. And then here is where the person said that they were counterfeit. Because apparently if it doesn't have a notch in the top of the, I don't know, look up the video that I watched on YouTube. What do we look up? I just bought a counterfeit AirPod. That will change your life. You know, if I just, Googled something, but the seller did say no return. So in the back of my head, I was like, oh God. I filed a claim. Once I filed that claim in the parking lot of this grocery store, two seconds later, I couldn't even get out of my car. It was already approved. The seller not messaging me back and then automatically being like, Mm, that was a little suspicious to me. I go on about my business. I have to mail the AirPods back, which I understand, but also they're counterfeit and I kind of just found that out. And I'm interested to see if this seller resells it or like what happens because they requested to have the item sent back to them. And so I was like, okay, whatever. I drive home, everything's fine. I think it's all settled. I get a message at 8.30 PM from the seller and all it says is send me proof. And I said, okay, I got my degree in journalism. I am well trained in this. I'm like, okay, I have all my sources. I sent the Apple receipt. I went to the store because they were broken and I was trying to get them fixed. What's scary about these AirPods is that they have a serial number from a different pair of AirPods that is a different color and they belong to somebody else. So you recall earlier when I was talking about how they were attached to someone else's iCloud. That was because they were a pink pair of AirPods when the ones that I bought were black. There wasn't a way that I saw where I could trace that. It's something that only Apple employees could do. That is why they thought that. I don't know if the seller was in on this. I don't know if the seller resold it from somebody else. I don't know, but if nothing else, I'm making this video to be like, if you're trying to save money, if it seems too good to be true, I mean, more than likely it is. There was one time I bought a video game. I think it was like Pokemon Emerald. I bought it when I was like 12 years old off of eBay and it was counterfeit the entire time. These counterfeit products are getting really good. I sent the seller all of the information. I sent him the YouTube video that I watched and I sent him the photos that I took of the AirPods. And I was just like, look, here's the ones I need a refund. I don't know. I was trying to save money. I was trying to do 
what I do with most of my clothes and what I do with most of my things, which is buy second hand. That came back to bite me in the butt. Anyway, I would also like to point out, this is a side tangent, but this, this hoodie has kind of been keeping me sane. It's just this really large, like, kind of oversized wolf hoodie. Kind of been keeping me sane recently. It's just such a cute little hoodie. Anyway, I don't know why I felt the need to come on here and talk about this. Always make sure to check your stuff. I mean, that sounds so crazy obvious. I think that my mind is just not prepared for the level at which people are able to counterfeit things now and they're able to create these fake products. It just really caught me off guard because I was like, okay, I checked the serial number. It said they had warranty. It said they had Apple Care. So they had all of this stuff, but it kind of sounded awful. They kind of had a very cheap packaging. It didn't add up. It didn't make sense. And so if it doesn't make sense or if it seems too good to be true, then it probably is. I was in here editing a skincare review and I was like, you know, I need to talk about this because this is just such a, what a day. But I mean, at the end of the day, this is such a minuscule little problem. It's so tiny. I don't know if, if, if anything else, I guess this could be a lesson. I also just want to put stupid content on the internet. <laughs> anyway, yeah, me and I need to name this wolf. Leave comments in the comment you know, that little section down there, what I should name this wolf. Let me know if this has happened to you all or like if you've ever experienced anything like this. If you want more casual content, just let me know. Yeah, be careful out there soldiers and have a good day. <laughs>